Hey Martin. Hi Sal. Welcome to Pop Mass. I've got something really interesting for you today. I'm going to show you that if you add up all the integers 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 to infinity, the result is minus the twelfth. I'll say that again. The result is minus the twelfth. It's crazy because we're getting bigger and bigger numbers and we end up with a negative number which is a fraction. Let's write s, the sum to infinity, s equals 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus dot dot dot. We're going to do this in four easy steps. Step number one, multiply both sides by minus 4. So on the left we have minus 4s. On the right we have minus 4, minus 8, minus 12, minus 16, minus 20, minus 24. Now you'll notice, Sal, that I've only written the first three numbers because I'm going to slide the minus 12 to the right so that it's underneath the plus 6. I'm going to slide the minus 8 to the right so that it's under the plus 4. And I'm going to slide the minus 4 to the right so that it's under the plus 2. Now, I draw a line underneath and I add the two equations. On the left it's plus s minus 4s, which is minus 3s. On the right it's 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 to infinity. Step number 2. Duplicate this equation, write it underneath like so, and slide the integers on the right one place to the right, like so. Now see how they're lined up? I'm just going to draw another line underneath, add the two equations, and on the left we're going to have minus 6s, and on the right we're going to have 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1, to infinity. Step number 3. Duplicate this equation and write it underneath, like so. Same equation, rewritten. Slide the numerals one place to the right, like so. Draw a line underneath. Add the two equations. On the left we've got minus 12s, that was easy. And on the right we have, we have 1. We have just 1 on its own. Fourth and final step, divided by minus 12, and we get the answer. s equals minus the twelfth. Now, you perhaps are a little bit sceptical, you think this is some kind of um, mathematical sleight of hand, but it's taken very seriously by mathematicians, and in fact you can de derive this result using rigorous mathematics, provided you use the Riemann zeta function and what's called analytic continuation. And this summation of the integers to infinity equaling minus one twelfth was included in a letter by the Indian mathematician Ramanujan to G. H. Hardy. And it's actually used in quantum physics, in string theory, and in particular in analyzing what's called the Casimir effect. The formula that expresses the Casimir effect includes the summation of the integers to infinity. And if you put into the equation the value infinity, well, unfortunately, the universe will explode. That hasn't happened yet. But if you introduce into the Casimir effect equations the answer minus 12, out pop some predictions that have in fact been confirmed experimentally. They are true. Minus 12 works when analyzing the Casimir effect. So how do we understand all of this? Well, obviously, adding up all the numbers to infinity gets infinity, but hidden inside that infinity is a little mathematical nugget called minus 12. So there you have it, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 to infinity equals minus 12. Cheers!